Traditionally, Newcastle United were one of the most successful clubs in England. Under Mike Ashley, however, things have changed. Newcastle have shifted from a financial giant to a cost cutter, aiming for financial stability through the revenue made from player sales. For the 2014-15 season, Newcastle reported a total revenue of £128,800,000. This was split into £26.8 million in matchday income, £77.2 million in broadcasting and £24.9 million in commercial. Overall, this means Newcastle United have the 7th highest revenue in English football, behind only Tottenham, Liverpool and the regular top four. With Manchester United £266 million ahead, Newcastle are logically unlikely to compete with the elite teams. Yet 7th place puts the club ahead of Everton, West Ham, Southampton and Leicester. All the more perplexing then that the club were relegated last season. Yet more troubling is that Newcastle recorded a profit of £36 million before tax in 2015. With the club struggling on the field, supporters might not take too kindly to the club's earnings not being reflected in their results. Financially speaking, however, the club are in a reasonable position. Ashley's policy has always been sustainability, attempting to spend only what the club earns. And this was after initially loaning the club a total of £129 million interest-free. Newcastle have recorded profits in their last five annual reports, and whilst most clubs are making profits now due to the huge broadcasting revenue available, Newcastle's £36 million profit in 2015 was second only to Liverpool's, whose total came mostly from the sale of Luis Suarez. Although the club are healthy, this doesn't mean that Ashley's tenure has been a success. Newcastle's financial sustainability has been largely as a result of their huge fan base, and until recently, their continued presence in the Premier League. The worrying factor from a financial perspective is in the club's lack of growth. Matchday and commercial revenue are both down since Ashley took over the club in 2007. Newcastle are the only club in the top 10 earners in the country not to experience growth in these areas. Their smaller matchday income is partially understandable as the club have frozen some ticket prices in an effort to maintain affordability. But amidst the huge financial growth of the Premier League, there is almost no excuse for their lower commercial income. One reason for this could be potential investors' unease about associating with a Sports Direct brand, given the very public criticism of Ashley's company. Newcastle have made most of their money through player sales in recent years, with Andy Carroll's £35 million transfer to Liverpool at the top of that list, but the club have also spent on players. In between 2014-15, Newcastle's net transfer spend was second only to the two Manchester clubs. The problem then was poor purchases and converting those fees into results. This period of unusually high spending ended in relegation, the worst possible eventuality. In the Championship, their revenue will take a huge hit, despite the parachute payments. A £70 to £80 million drop is estimated, with the gap above widening, as Newcastle will miss out on the new Premier League TV deal's average of £40 million more per season. To manage this drop, the club have had to sell their best players, raising around £75 million from player sales in the summer. Given their size, their relative financial stability, despite their lack of growth, and the position as the seventh highest earning club in England, Newcastle's relegation was the result of huge underachieving. Ashley can't be held solely responsible, but his tenure does illuminate an inability on the owner's part to effectively run the club. It's not that the money isn't there or that they're not reinvesting it. To show this, despite their big profits, Ashley hasn't taken any repayment for his initial loans. To put it bluntly, it's just that the owner is bad at running his football club. Newcastle have the potential to be a huge force, but this seems unlikely under Ashley and in the championship with a shrinking revenue, they're unlikely to attract investors. <laughs>